Picture this, the sun-kissed shores of Hawaii, an island paradise where palm trees sway lazily in the warm breeze, and the crystal clear waves invite you to dip your toes into their tranquil embrace. Now, imagine a Ferrari that purrs like a contented feline as it speeds down the winding roads, driven by a man whose mustache alone could tell tales of daring adventures and hidden mysteries. This is the world of Magnum P.I., a TV series that swept onto screens in the vibrant 1980s and left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Do you remember that moment when you first stumbled upon Thomas Magnum? the charming private investigator with a penchant for Hawaiian shirts and a knack for getting into more trouble than he could handle. Maybe it was his infectious grin or the way he effortlessly blended laid-back vibes with an unwavering commitment to solving cases. And who could forget the iconic theme music that played as Magnum raced across the island in his Ferrari 308 GTS? It's a melody that, to this day, can whisk you away to a world of nostalgia with just a few notes. As you sit back and let those memories wash over you, let's delve into some captivating random facts about the show. These behind-the-scenes tidbits will unveil a whole new layer of appreciation for the series. From the improvised moments that became legendary to the real-life camaraderie among the cast, each fact adds a rich hue to the tapestry of Magnum, P.I. Trivia. So, fasten your seatbelt, because we're about to embark on a journey through time. Exploring the hidden gems that make Magnum, P.I. more than just a TV show, it's a cultural touchstone that continues to spark joy and curiosity even decades later. Magnum, P.I. is a classic television series that originally aired in 1980. Created by Donald P. Belisario and Glenna Larson, the show revolves around the adventures of Thomas Magnum, a charismatic and laid-back private investigator living in Hawaii. Played by Tom Selleck, Magnum exudes charm and wit as he solves cases while residing in the guest house of the opulent Robin's Nest Estate. Alongside his loyal friends, including helicopter pilot TC and the savvy Higgins, Magnum navigates through mysteries and danger with a mix of action, humor, and intrigue. The series is renowned for its distinctive blend of action, detective work, and picturesque Hawaiian scenery. Magnum's signature style, highlighted by his iconic Hawaiian shirts, and Ferrari 308 GTS became synonymous with the character. The show's compelling storytelling, character dynamics, and Selleck's portrayal contributed to its immense popularity and longevity, running for eight successful seasons until 1988. Magnum P.I. left an indelible mark on popular culture, inspiring spin-offs, parodies, and references in various media. The character's charisma and the show's unique setting influenced subsequent detective dramas and laid the groundwork for the action-adventure investigator archetype. The show's influence is still felt today, with its legacy continuing through remakes, homages, and the enduring nostalgia it evokes. Intriguingly, the mustache Selleck sported as Magnum became a signature look, and Selleck's commitment to Magnum, P.I. even led him to turn down the role of Indiana Jones due to scheduling conflicts. The show's Ferrari 308 GTS gained such popularity that it became a cultural icon, and John Hillerman's portrayal of the sophisticated Higgins earned him critical acclaim. Magnum P.I. remains a cherished classic that resonates with audiences for its captivating storytelling, memorable characters, and the unique fusion of detective work and action set against the backdrop of Hawaii's stunning landscapes. Its enduring impact on television and pop culture continues to captivate new generations, making it a testament to its lasting appeal. Random fact, Tom Selleck's iconic mustache was almost shaved off for the role due to a contractual obligation. The Ferrari 308 GTS used in the show was a rental, not a permanent part of Selleck's personal collection. The estate that served as Robin's Nest was actually the Hawaiian home of prolific television producer Mary Tyler Moore. The show's theme song, composed by Mike Post, became an instantly recognizable tune that further enhanced the show's appeal. 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 Model Bridge and Higgins study a nod to history in Magnum, P.I. in the iconic 1980 TV series Magnum, P.I. Viewers were treated to a blend of action, mystery, and camaraderie set against the backdrop of Hawaii's lush landscapes. While the charismatic Tom Selleck as Thomas Magnum took center stage, it was the subtle details that added depth to the show's narrative. One such detail, a model bridge, quietly nestled in the background of the study belonging to Jonathan Higgins, played by John Hillerman, held a historical significance that often went unnoticed. 
From the third season onward, the eagle-eyed audience might have caught a glimpse of a meticulously crafted model bridge adorning Higgins' study. What many might not realize is that this bridge was in homage to the famous structure from the film The Bridge on the River Kwai. The original bridge in the film, a symbol of British POW's resilience during World War II, has become an enduring cinematic icon. In a masterful stroke of narrative continuity, Magnum P.I. wove this bridge into its storyline by attributing its construction to none other than Jonathan Higgins himself. A British POW during the war, Higgins was portrayed as one of the indomitable souls who helped erect the original bridge. This connection to history added an extra layer of depth to the enigmatic character of Higgins, showcasing his past and the shadows it cast on his present. Over the course of the series, the model bridge became more than just a prop. It was a silent witness to the trials and tribulations faced by Higgins and the other characters. Just as the real bridge faced its share of challenges in the film, the model bridge in Higgins' study endured its own fair share of mishaps. The bridge was broken several times throughout the series, a reflection of the characters' own struggles and the ever-present specter of their past. Magnum P.I. thus managed to seamlessly intertwine fiction with history, offering viewers a glimpse into the intertwined lives of its characters and the world they inhabited. While the model bridge may have gone unnoticed by some, it stood as a poignant reminder of the show's attention to detail and its ability to weave history into the fabric of its storytelling. So, the next time you revisit the sun-soaked shores of Magnum, P.I., keep an eye out for that unassuming model bridge in Higgins' study. It's not just a piece of set decoration, it's a link to a bygone era, a nod to history, and a testament to the show's commitment to crafting a rich and layered narrative. This article was, Kul was, Kul was, Kul was, Magnum P.I., the untold stories of the iconic 1980 TV series and the lush landscape of 1980s television. One show stood out with its blend of action, intrigue, and mustachioed charm, Magnum P.I. Tom Selleck's portrayal of the charismatic private investigator Thomas Magnum captured the hearts of viewers and solidified the series as a cultural touchstone. But behind the scenes, there were hidden tales that even the most dedicated fans might not be aware of. One captivating anecdote revolves around a seemingly innocuous detail in the show's opening credits. For several seasons, a shot featured TC raising a bottle of beer, a nod to his laid-back persona. What escapes notice, however, is that TC had actually become a Tito Taylor midway through the first season. This puzzling contradiction raises questions about the intricate dance between character development and visual storytelling that television often demands. As the final credits rolled on Magnum P.I., conversations about the show's legacy buzzed like Hawaiian trade winds. Universal Pictures hatched an ambitious plan for a theatrical movie, reuniting the original cast and penned by none other than Tom Clancy. The script envisioned Magnum's return to the Navy and the adventures that ensued. Yet, Universal hesitated, doubting whether the nostalgia of the original cast and Clancy's narrative prowess could lure audiences to the box office. It's a testament to the uncertain alchemy of translating small screen magic to the big screen. John Hillerman, who masterfully portrayed the uptight British estate manager Higgins, extended his on-screen persona into an unlikely role. He appeared in a series of advertisements for Mauna Loa Macadamia Nuts, effectively reprising his role as Higgins for a new audience. This blurring of fiction and reality underscores the indelible connections formed between actors and their iconic characters. As the years have marched on, Magnum P.I. remains an emblem of a bygone era, celebrated for its Hawaiian backdrop, snappy dialogue, and timeless charisma. Behind every episode and every quirk lies a tapestry of untold stories that add depth to the show's enduring allure. allure, allure, allure. Unveiling the backstage tale of Magnum P.I. in the 1980s TV realm, Magnum P.I. stood out. Tom Selleck led as Magnum, leaving a mark on TV history. Lesser known stories behind the scenes added intrigue. The series' roots traced back to Grant High School, where Selleck and Mike Post, composer of the catchy theme, were classmates. A snippet from the opening title sequence holds intrigue, an unintended snorkel shot with actress Shirley Rogers and Selleck. Rogers, uncredited, appeared in other roles too. Selleck's love for baseball, especially the Detroit Tigers, influenced Magnum's look. Tigers' 1984 World Series win impacted the show. Tigers players appeared, blurring sports and fiction. 
Magnum P.I. left a lasting mark on TV, woven by its cast, crew, and star's passions. Star's passions. Star's Magnum P.I. pioneering positive portrayals of Vietnam veterans on network television and the annals of television history. Few shows have managed to bridge entertainment and social relevance as adeptly as the 1980 TV series Magnum P.I. created by Donald P. Belisario and Glenna Larson. The show originally aimed to unfold its stories against the backdrop of sunny Southern California. However, a shift in setting led to the show's iconic Hawaiian locale, adding an exotic allure to its narrative canvas. At the core of Magnum P.I. was Thomas Sullivan Magnum IV, portrayed by the charismatic Tom Selleck. A Vietnam War veteran, Magnum's character tapped into a real-world context that was then still shrouded in controversy. The 1980s marked a pivotal era in which the echoes of the war still reverberated through American society. Amidst this backdrop, the show's creators harnessed Magnum, alongside Theodore T.C. Calvin and Orville Rick Wright, as trailblazers in portraying Vietnam veterans in a positive light on a network television series. The portrayal of veterans like T.C. and Rick is strong, loyal, and resilient individuals not only enriched the show's character dynamics, but also challenged prevailing stereotypes. Magnum's camaraderie with his veteran friends offered viewers a nuanced perspective on the post-war experiences, reminding them that beneath the surface of each character lay a depth of personal struggles and aspirations. TCS initials stood for Theodore Calvin, a subtle detail that added authenticity to his character's development. This seemingly small touch allowed viewers to connect more intimately with his persona, a testament to the show's commitment to crafting multifaceted characters that resonated with the audience. Magnum P.I. stands as a trailblazer that defied conventions, elevating the portrayal of Vietnam veterans and intertwining their narratives with a gripping blend of mystery and adventure. Through its pioneering approach, the show not only captured the imaginations of audiences, but also helped pave the way for more nuanced portrayals of veterans on television. In a landscape that often shied away from contentious subjects, Magnum P.I. dared to tread into complex terrain, illuminating the lives of Vietnam veterans in a refreshing and empathetic light. As we look back at this iconic series, we're reminded of its enduring impact and its role in shaping the television landscape for the better. For the better, for the better. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of Magnum P.I., let's take a moment to ponder the timeless echoes it has left within us. The sun sets over the Hawaiian horizon, the Ferraris engine roaring through the tropical breeze, the adventures that blurred the lines between duty and friendship. They all etch their indelible marks on the canvas of our memories. As we stroll down the memory lane, let's allow Magnum's infectious charisma and undying spirit to ignite our own passions. Let's reminisce about those evenings spent in the company of characters who became our friends, sharing laughter, suspense, and heartfelt moments that only the best stories can offer. And now, it's your turn to join in. Share your stories, your thoughts, and your favorite moments from Magnum P.I. Let your voice resonate alongside the waves crashing on those Hawaiian shores, keeping the spirit of this iconic series alive in the hearts of all who hold it dear. Your memories are a testament to the impact of Magnum and his crew weaving their way into the fabric of your life. So, take a moment and tell us about the time you felt the rush of adventure, the warmth of camaraderie, or the thrill of solving a mystery right alongside them. Thank you for journeying through the tales of Magnum, P.I., and for sharing your reflections with us. Your time and passion are the fuel that keeps the legacy alive, and we are honored to have you as part of this vibrant community. Until we meet again to relive the magic of stories well told, take care, and keep those memories close to your heart. And remember, the spirit of Magnum lives on in us all, on in us all, on in us all.